I have entirely forgotten how to frame this. <laughs> Fuck it, that'll do. Hello, Friendship 2.0 viewers. I am sorry. Um, how long has it been? <laughs> so yeah, last week I was in Paris. The week before that I was doing Vader. So technically I produced seven videos in a week. It's just that none of them went on this channel. I was going to do like a direct upload to say, hey, pop on over to my channel for lots of content, and then I didn't. Anyway, hello, I'm back. Hi, Sean, how's you? Have you learnt the cup song yet? Sean is doing the cup song on, on her friend Hills's channel. I will link to that, because that was funny. In terms of my musical achievements, I'm currently trying to teach myself ukulele, except it's not going very well. You escape like a runaway train. Strum. So I'm, I'm reduced to just like going once for every chord and it's crap and I'm working on it. Although I have named the ukulele. Um, in Vader I was just talking about the fact that says old ukulele didn't have a name. Uh, so I've named it. It's called Jeffrey. As you can see I am now back in Oxford. It is summer basically. I've been out in like short dresses and no cardigans and whatever. It's been lovely. What makes me laugh is that people are still wearing coats because they're just like oh. I don't trust this. The sun thing. I don't I don't know what it is, I don't like it, I don't trust it. So the thing I haven't told you, a piece of news. Um I've got confirmation that I am indeed going to be a English teacher assistant y thing in France next year. Woo! I don't actually know where I'm gonna be though yet. Um they they just sort of said, you'll find out. Thanks. <laughs> I really bloody hope that they have good internet wherever I go in France. Because seriously, can you imagine me without the internet? I was asked to do a survey the other day on um, women on YouTube and one of the questions which was just like, you know, finding out who you are was like, how much time do you spend on the internet? And I'm not even going to repeat my answer because it was embarrassing. <laughs> the other thing that happened was I went to email my friends who also do French here yesterday about um, exams or whatever, technically stuff. And I realised that I hadn't actually spoken to any of them throughout the whole holiday, apart from I may have tweeted one of them once. So I ended up sending this email like, Hello from your horrible friend who hasn't spoken to you for six weeks. Uh, do we have exams tomorrow? Okay, thanks, bye. The thing is, for all the times that I say I need to work on this, I never do. And I don't want to work on it. I, I don't mind socialising with people, which is a good thing because, you know, it's a thing that everyone has to do throughout life. But it's, it's not something that I feel any particular drive to do at all, ever. Oh god, I sound horrible. It's not that I don't like people. It, people are cool. I, it's, like, if someone is watching this who I haven't seen forever, I like you, I swear, there is no problem with you, I don't have any problems with you whatsoever, I just can't be bothered to interact with you. I wonder if that's what the internet is doing to us as, you know, a generation in general. Making us sort of like, more passive when it comes to learning things about other people. So you read someone's Facebook status and tweet and tumble post and blogspot and watch their videos, but you don't actually talk to them, and you don't have to talk to them in order to find things out about them. Yay, Megan considers social media in the morning. Anyway, I hope you're well. I look forward to videos. Videos, good. I should never make videos on spinny chairs. I just end up spinning. And on that conclusion, I shall end. Bye. And in the morning. Nope. And in the morning.